A pleasant day to you all. In this video, I am going to show you how to connect to a database using Microsoft Visual Studio and MySQL. So the first thing that we are going to do is to create a schema in our MySQL. And let's name this as sample DB. Okay. Next, create a new project. Let's name this as sample project. Now that we have created a new project in a schema, the next thing that we're going to do is to add a reference into our project in order for us to be able to connect to our database okay so let's click project add reference and go to that net then look for my sql dot data okay I click ok now that we have added a reference into our project the next thing that we are going to do is to create the database connection code. So let's add a module to this project. Let's name this as module connection. Okay, the next thing is to import mysql.data. Okay, so you need to import or put these two lines of codes at the very top of your uh, database connection code or your module because without these two lines of code you will not be able to connect to your database so the next thing that we are going to do is to declare a variable which will be used to hold our database connection string Okay, so the next step is to create a method which will contain our database connection code.
Okay, so this line of code is our uh, connection string for our database connection. As you can see, we have here our parameters for the MySQL, the database name, uh, the name of the server. So in this case, I use localhost because my laptop is not connected to any network. But in case you are going to connect to a server, you'll have to put the IP address of the server in this part. Then we have here the user ID or the username for your MySQL, then password of your MySQL and the port. So in most cases, MySQL uses 3306, but in this uh, example, I configured my MySQL to use 3308. That is why I put 3308 for the port. Okay, so this line SQL underscore connection that open will execute this line of code or connect to the database now if ever our connection is successful this message will be shown and if ever there are some errors this message will be shown okay so let's proceed to our form and let's add uh, command button okay let's call the method for connecting to the database Okay, so let's try to run our project. And okay, click connect. So as you can see, a message successfully connected to the database was shown. So meaning there are no errors for our code for the database connection okay let's try to put something that will cause an error for our database connection okay, in case uh, let's omit some letters here in our password and let's run the project again Okay, so as you can see, an error occurred while connecting to the database message was or is shown. Okay, so that's all for this uh, video guys. See you next video for inserting a data into a database. Yeah.